Hello everyone, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com coming to you with information on terpenes and we're going to be talking specifically on the terpenes in the cannabis plant. This information is coming straight to you from the Cannabis Holistic Institute where we train students to become cannabis therapy consultants so they get all of this information. Now these are going to be just short little snippet videos of like five to ten minutes on each particular terpene. We'll go through about ten of them but no, you can go over, apply, get your um, information to get certified as a cannabis therapy consultant where you dig into this and really, really geek out. This is just a little bit. So let's start with the first terpene that we're going to be looking at. Hi, Riley. Hi, my sweet love. Go lay down. <laughs> myrcene. We're going to be looking at myrcene today. So myrcene is a wonderful terpene that you can find. It is the most abundant of all the terpenes. So you'll be finding this in a lot of your cannabis. It actually makes up about 65% of the terpene profile in cannabis. The smells are a little earthy. There's some musky tones that you'll find. Cloves, you'll that clove, that spicy clove smell. Oh, I just love it so much. If you've ever smelt some cannabis and it smells a little spicy like that, it probably has myrcene in it. Well, 65% of it does anyways. Um, red grape-like aroma. It's, it's kind of like, um, I mean, this reminds me a lot of a wine, really. Fruity. So that particular myrcene, if you smell cannabis, it's gonna have those kind of smells. Now, we're gonna find myrcene more in the indica or sedative properties. So if you're if you're looking at the cannabis fingerprint of your particular um, strain, we're gonna find that if it is more on the indica base or the sedative based properties, you're gonna find more myrcene there. It helps with reducing inflammation, which is extremely important when you're looking for the right strain for your particular disailment or disease, discomfort. And it also reduces chronic pain. Very, very important to understand and realize. Now again, watch some of the other videos, but the idea is that you're getting the right strain, the right dosage, the right delivery method, whether it be a topical or an internal, that you're getting the right thing for your body and your body system, okay? Strains, Skunk XL, that is um, a really strong, skunk variety, uh, but if you can find that one, it's great. White Widow. White Widow is one of my favorites, actually. I really like that one. It's a heavy indica. Um, it's, it's found here in Northern California. I mean, every once in a while, it'll pop up. It's a boutique strain that I like a whole bunch. Special Kush. Now, any of the Kush varieties are going to be higher in Mersing. I'm going to I'm gonna say they're gonna be higher in mercy, but the special Kush, this is, these three are the highest in this particular terpene. So the exciting thing about this as well is mangoes themselves are really, really amazing and they're high in mercy. So, I mean, it kind of goes that if you eat a mango um, and then you, you can, um, it, I should say, if you consume mangoes, it has been known to increase the, um, this isn't scientifically proven, it's just one of those like, you know, old school cannabis things, but it would be, um, it would increase uh, the properties of your particular cannabis and what you're trying to achieve with it. So that's kind of an exciting little piece. Okay, we'll be right back with another terpene. Stay tuned. Again, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com and the Cannabis Holistic Institute. Have a beautiful day.